Welcome to Comic Con promoting the Banana Splits movie. Thank you. I don't I don't know about this movie. This this, this is going to ruin a lot of people's childhood. I was just sort of talking about that. The the reaction is is kind of mixed, and it's funny. There are a lot of fans who seem to have loved the show who are like, oh my god, why? Why has this movie been made? And there are a lot of fans who are really stoked about it. So. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see what the reactions are. So, so truthfully, have you ever seen the original show? No, I looked it up when I got involved with this movie and watched the crazy opening credits, and I was like, I'm having like a weird lucid dream or something because it's so bizarre. But no, I, I didn't watch it as a kid. It was I was after its time. So, so why did you want to do something like this? This this is like a like somebody on a weird acid trip. It is. Um, I've actually worked with the director Danishka Esterhazy. Um, I've known her for 10 years this is my third movie with her so oh, wow. she was a very large draw for me um, I just love working with her and I read the script and I thought oh this is very unlike anything I've done and I really wanted to go to South Africa where we shot the movie oh really that must have been really fun it was a wonderful time yeah now now tell us about your character that you play in this film I play the producer of the banana split show I'm not the producer, which someone thought earlier, and I went along with it for like a half an hour until oh, I realized really? he totally thought I was the executive producer of this movie, but I'm just the producer of the show, <laughs> in the movie. So how, how does it feel to pretend to be a producer of a show in a movie? Fun, because I, get, I have a lot of friends who are producers, so I kind of got to channel them at their most exhausted and sort of strung out, and... Um, yeah, it was, it was great to kind of find the balance of something very specific has happened to her at the beginning of the day. She finds out the show's being canceled and to still keep, you know, the show must go on. But at the same time, you know, it's just like, why? Why am I still here? And then, I mean, all hell breaks loose and then she has to deal with that, so... Working with, with children? I mean, it looks like there was a lot of children in this movie. Yes, but I didn't actually work that closely with them. I wasn't in many scenes with the kids, but we have a lot. We have a couple of really fantastic... Some of the leads are kids, and they're amazing actors, so it's great. Awesome. But before I let you go, we do have the four characters. I want to know is which one of these four creep you out the most? Oh, I think he creeps me out the most just because I have a great scene where he's sort of watch. He's just standing all creepy-like in the background. I love Bingo because the actor who played this guy would always be walking around like without his head on and just the body, and the body was about this wide, and it would just swing around him, and it, I just always laughed. But I've, I don't know. I think he's the creepiest. Wow. You know what? It sounds like you had a lot of fun in South Africa, and we're going to have a lot of fun watching Banana Splits movie. Thank you for speaking with me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you.